Hi, this is Manej Bakshi here and something which was very sobering. I'll tell you the story before the day of my birthday. My birthday was last week, by the way. And so here it was, I was driving and my wife was sending a lot of text messages. And I just said, you know what? I don't know what she's trying to communicate with me for, you know, what's important. So I ended up actually calling her, just press the button on my dashboard to call her. And I said, hey, you sent me quite a few messages. What's wrong? He said, well, one of your friends, Dave, just died. And she found out on Facebook, which is typically the way nowadays people find out information, right? And Dave was somebody I've known for a long time. He had been my client, came to a lot of my seminars, events, and I had helped him as well. Uh, he had helped me in websites and other areas. <clears throat> and interestingly enough, just a week before, I had called him up out of the blue because we had not been in touch for a while. And I said, hey, how are you doing? He said, well, I'm improving because he had a couple of bouts of cancer. And he seemed in good conversation and spirits. And in fact, he was golfing when he suddenly had a pain and a problem. And then he ended up being rushed to the hospital and dying uh, a week ago, Monday. And, you know, he was only 60 years old. <laughs> For some people, that's too old. I know if you're listening and you're 20 years old and you're like, hey, that's a long ways away. Well, I'm 55, so it doesn't seem that far, okay? So the question I have for you, what is on your bucket list you're waiting to fulfill? What is? Now, Dave knew he was having challenges. So he decided he liked golfing. So he went to every major golf course that he wanted to in Michigan and you know actually played there. He decided he wanted to go charter a fishing boat because that was one of the things he likes to do. So he found a few things that he really wanted to enjoy before things happen, right? And my question to you, going back to is, we know nothing about tomorrow, right? Nothing. You don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Now, again, I obviously wish you a long life and a very prosperous and happy life. But because of this incident, I'm just asking you a simple question. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Are there things on the bucket list that you should attack them today? And uh, tomorrow I leave for California and Vegas, uh, taking my whole family with me. And most, some people don't understand my lifestyle. But I decided quite a while ago by listening to a song by Harry Chapin, Cats in the Cradle and the Silver Spoon. And if you heard the song, you know what I'm talking about. Is The song is about a dad who is not available to the kids. And I decided before I had kids that I would focus a lot of my attention on being around my family. Because that's just, my priorities are different with some, compared to some other people. So my whole family will be traveling tomorrow leaving for Los Angeles, spending a couple of days in Vegas, going to Grand Canyon, and so on and so forth. The reason is very simple. I didn't want to look back with any regret that I didn't do certain things in my life. Now, are there other things I want to accomplish? Absolutely. But I didn't want to have a major part of my life, which is relationships with my close family, my parents, my children, my wife, that I felt that I was not really working hard in that relationship. So ask yourself, what are you waiting for? Check mark and get that bucket list taken care of. I look forward to seeing you possibly in California. And if that's the case, look me up. It'll be fun. Thanks again for watching. I wish you the best.